Hey y'all, welcome back to the Crafty Closet. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a multi-layered t-shirt using heat transfer vinyl, your t-shirt, and your Cricut heat press. It's a really fun project. You don't want to miss it, so make sure you stick around. Oh, and by the way, Happy New Year, y'all. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is head on over to Design Space and we're going to get our image going. So, your font is going to be Vintage Party. Now, Vintage Party is not a font that is in Design Space. It's actually a part of a font bundle that I bought off of Design Bundles. Design Bundles is a great uh, place for fonts and images. If you ever get a chance, check them out. So, I purchased this font. And I use this font because the throwback old school retro fonts in Design Space, I just didn't like them. So we're going to start with our design. And this is going to be, I'm going to change it to exactly what I have already. So I already have this done, but I'm just going to show you guys how I did it. So this is called Party Time because that's what's going to go on my t-shirt. And now this is a really easy and simple design to do because we're simply going to offset this a few times. We're going to offset this to as many colors as we have to layer. So remember, this is a multi-layered t-shirt, so we need several different colors for this shirt. So now, I'm just going to bring this here. Let me make it a little bigger. And let me bring it down. Okay. So now we're going to go with our, I always, always unlock it just so in case you need to make it uh, bigger or smaller, you, you're you able to do, do that. So we're going with our next offset. So we're going with the curved because the lettering is curved. Sorry y'all. Offset. Here we go. Now this was set to 1.25, 0 0.25. That's a little wide. So I always set the first offset. 0.111. Now you see how it brought it in tighter. This is our first uh, color. And we're going to hit apply. Now Cricut Design Space always defaults to black and gray for their offset colors. We're going to change the colors that are actually the colors we're going to be ironing on our shirt in a second. So that's our first offset. And now we're going to go again. And we're going to offset this a third time. And now, as you can see, this is our third offset. I still have it set at 0 0.111 because it gives me a nice spacing. And we're going to apply. And then we're going to go, I'm going to offset this one more time. Because remember, we are pressing four colors on a shirt. And here we go. Here's our fourth offset. Now, we're going to change the colors to what the colors that I'm actually using for this shirt. You can use whatever colors you want, but I chose yellow, orange, a metallic orange, and black. So here we go. So our base color is black, so we're going to leave that. Then I'm going to go up to our second, to, second color, which is the gray, and this is actually orange. And then we're going to go to our third color, which is actually, I told you, it's a metallic orange. So it's uh, kind of like that. And then our final color is yellow. Boom. Here we go. This is the design that's going to go on a t-shirt. Now, really quickly, when I first did it, I wasn't so happy about the way it looked. It was, even though it popped, it was still giving me plain Jane. So I had to put a little extra on it. So I'm going to show you what I decided to do just to give it a little more razzle-dazzle. So let's hide our three colors that we just did. And on this bottom portion, I added a star. Oh, it's shining, so it should be shooting star. 
and I actually saved it. So let's go to oh my bookmarks. It's right here. So I'm change this to black, and I'm actually going to attach it to our design we have here. I just wanted to give it a little something, something extra. So now this is how you attach it. And I remember attaching it makes it one solid image. And now let's just uncolor our hidden. Okay, so let me show you guys a trick. I'm going to go back. Now, I'm going to bring this to the front. That'll take take it from being hidden out behind what I just did. I'm gonna bring that to the front. And then we're gonna bring this to the front. Okay, so it's actually just covering what I wanted to do. So let me just move this here. And now let's see. Let's see if we bring this to the front. Here we go. Practice makes perfect, my people. Practice makes perfect. Okay, so we need this here. Bring to the front. Okay, there we go. This is our image right here. This is what we're doing. As you can see, this is going to go on our t-shirt. Now, I'm just going to bring this down here so I can show you exactly what's on the t-shirt. Let's see. So, t-shirt. We're going to get our t-shirt going classic t-shirt and the t-shirt I have is uh, like a green so I always try to get as close to the color that I have so I'll see what it looks like and it's like a green I'm gonna manipulate the colors just a little bit to get it as close to the color in my mind that the shirt is all right so I think this is good this is the color might be just a little darker Okay, let me change it again. Mm. Because it's almost like a, a gray green. That makes sense. Alright, this looks about the color. So, boom. Here we go. We're going to... And if you guys haven't saw that video on how to change your colors on your t-shirts, um, I'll put the link in here somewhere. And you can watch it. It's really easy once you learn how. And then you have it. There's our party time t-shirt. Now I'm going to erase. Well, I'm, I'm not going to erase it. I'm just going to go to new. Because remember, I told you I already have this saved. I'm going to replace it. I'm going to go to my stuff. I told you I already had this done. I'm going to go to customize. Just so you can see that I didn't do anything different than what I actually designed. Here we go. This is what is going to go on our t-shirt, y'all. And now comes the fun part. We're going to weed, press, and see what she gives. I hope you enjoy it. Stick around.